Hey friends, Reservation Dogs Episode 7, California Dream Inn. Thanks for joining me, and I apologize for appearing in this small box, but due to technical difficulties, this was the only way I could get on and record for us this evening, so please uh, forgive me. This episode was really heavy. There were some serious themes explored here, and for anyone that needs to talk, anyone that found this episode a little bit too heavy, um, you can always message me. Um, but I'm going to link some resources in the comments as well. Uh, suicide Prevention Hotline and, and uh, any other resources that I can find. Just in case, um, you know, anyone is having some trouble processing their thoughts or feelings, which would be very understandable. Um, we got a lot of background information into Daniel's life, into Alora's life, into Rez's life. Uh, Daniel has been dealt kind of a difficult hand in life. You know, no peace at home. He appears to be a little bit mentally different. And so it's increasingly difficult for him to exist in his own skin. And that discontent, you know, a lot of times when people have mental challenges and it's hard for them to exist in a space, thoughts of flight and thoughts of escape are very common, you know, and getting to Los Angeles and getting to New York and Miami and these, you know, these, these uh, places, it, it's often the path and the remedy to, to deal with those feelings. Um, what we, what we always, what we never remember is that we're still going to be there when we get to that other place. But anyway, um, I was reflecting as I watched this episode, you know, in, on my own life, I, I moved to Los Angeles in 2009, um, shortly after my mother died of cancer. And reflecting on this episode, I was running, you know, from my own life. And so it was really impactful to kind of see, you know, what happened and see the parallels to certain things in, in my own life. Um, Bill Burr, it was good to see Bill Burr. He was an interesting addition to the cast. Um, you know, he's been brought into some big shows. He was brought into The Mandalorian. Um, so it was interesting to see what they were going to do with this character. But, you know, I wonder if you guys feel the same way that I do. I was underwhelmed by Bill Burr. I was underwhelmed by, uh, you know, the, his scripting. And just his presence as a character, you know, we've been talking, you know, uh, about the white characters and all of these things. And um, I was just a little bit underwhelmed with him. And so, um, but, and share your thoughts with me below. You know, I, I, I thought he could have been a much more effective character. And it, it may be due to his, to, to him, you know, not, not being able to chew on the material or understand the material the way that it, it needed to be. Share your thoughts with me below. Um, what I did think was really insightful uh, about their interaction, and it's just something that I'm kind of thinking about, is while there may not have been any healing, you know, between Alora and uh, Bill Burr's character in terms of their own personal traumas, there was a moment, there were moments in this episode when they saw one another. You know, they have uh, shared trauma. Bill knew Cookie, uh, Alora's mom. And, you know, they saw each other's humanity. And I, I look forward to more instances of, of that where we can, can see each other. Sometimes, you know, we can't help necessarily what happened in the year 1200, 1300, 14, but we can lighten the burden for one another sometimes by just seeing one another, by seeing the humanity in one another. And that was really striking to me. It was like they made this episode to appease me. So that was really cute. Um, I was kind of, yeah, I was kind of heartbroken to hear his story about Ashley, you know, about uh, raising his daughter and her still being out of control. And why that's interesting to me is that 
you know, some people like a Daniel are searching for normalcy their whole life. Sometimes they just want to be seen. Sometimes they just want to go and exist in a space and have a good time and go dance. Um, Daniel didn't have, you know, the, the parental units to go back to and feel supported. And he became lost. And, and that's a common experience for a lot of people. When you have broken, brokenness breeds brokenness. And so when your parents are broken, uh, a lot of times they don't have the time to nurture you the way that, that you necessarily need to be. On the other hand, Bill Burr's character, you know, Ashley seems to have grown up with love, with attention. And so some groups are only looking for that, that one thing, that, that validation to, to find normalcy. And then other groups appear sometimes to have it all, to have that validation and still are not able to find peace and contentedness. And I thought that was really interesting, and I thought that was of note that the writers of this show, you know, kind of went there. And so it gives me a lot of hope for the dialogue going forward next season. I hope that they do get to California so that we can see just their reaction. I think it's going to be comical. I think it'll be funny to see what they do but also to honor Daniel's life, to honor his wishes. That was his plan for this life, for this world. And that's why it's so important for Laura to get there. That's why she's the one that is not penny pinching, but she's watching the money. She's making sure that this plan goes forward. And now we understand why, you know? Um, so yeah, this was a really heavy episode, guys. I, I enjoyed it. Um, what did you guys think? What did you take away from kind of the abstract stories that they were telling in this episode? They left a lot open, I think, so that what was meaningful in your own life, in your own life experience, you could draw out of it. Share any stories, any thoughts. Feel free to be honest with, you know, honest in the comments about how you're feeling and, and anything like that. I, as I said, I'm going to share any resources that I can find. Um, you know, if we if we just need someone to talk to. But as always, guys, please give this video a like. Please consider commenting, letting me know what you think. And please subscribe for more TV and movie related content. And until next week, guys, cheers.